Hello, my dear audience. In this episode, we're gonna visit one of the strangest houses by John Lawner. Seen from the sky, the structure is hard to recognize, and even from the street, it is difficult to catch a glimpse of the house. It is, for John Lautner's own standards, also pretty unusual, because most of Lautner designs are built against hillsides, and this house is built entirely on a flat piece of ground. The Tolstoy residence exists of three separated triangular units that are placed in a circular pattern. The first step in the construction was to place three concrete walls in the ground. These walls are not only half circular from above, but also from the front they have the shape of half a circle. After the construction of the walls, three concrete triangles were placed low on the ground. Then a series of iron cables was tensioned between the walls and the triangles. The different houses were connected to each other with three different series of steel cables that were tensioned over the garden in the middle. Two walls on both sides were erected. These walls follow the direction of the cables. Because the cables are placed diagonal, the right side of the walls is higher than the left side. Because the walls don't go all the way to the end of the cables, the attaching triangles are easily visible. The cables form a skeleton on which a roof made of timber is placed. From the inside, the cables are visible at the ceiling. The steel cables of the construction were chosen for two reasons. First, it was a cost-reducing method. But more importantly, plants and ivy can grow over the cables. Over the years, the cables have formed an organic roof. The leaves of the plants create shadows underneath and providing protection from the extreme hot desert sun. The ceiling of green plants also transforms the patio in an outdoor living room. This makes the house a perfect example of organic architecture. It's the nature itself that completes the house. By creating an external living room, the verge between inside and outside is blurred, and nature and architecture become one. Around the house, a gravel path that consists of three overlapping circles was created. It has also a circular grass field, a circular pool and a half-circular concrete terrace. Over the years, many plants and trees have grown around the house. With the plants on the cables, the house absorbs in this environment, disappearing like camouflage. This is again an important trademark of organic architecture. An interesting fact is that the house was a do-it-yourself project. John Lautner made only the design and after that the owners built the house by themselves for a low budget. Unfortunately, it took the Tolstoy family 13 years from 1961 till 74 to complete the project. Once we take a look at the floor plan, we see that the many circular and triangular shapes continue inside. The three different units each have their own function. One house is used as the main building with a living room, kitchen and two bedrooms. The second house was originally a recording studio, but is now used as a guest house with its own kitchen and guest living room. The third structure has no roof. It is used as a vineyard and kitchen garden. The house is located in a desert town. From the hot, dry and sandy environment, the peaceful garden forms a sharp contrast, secluded like an oasis in the desert. When we walk over the pathway, we see the futuristic shapes of the house. The main house has a front opening which is half circular. The glass window in this opening, which has the front door in it, is placed behind the facade. This creates shadow over the front door and brings sunlight inside at the same time. A circular pond goes partly underneath the facade. Once we step through the front door, we see that the sitting area is elevated. This creates different spaces without having any walls. The sitting area is designed in a 70s space age style. 
the half-circular fireplace echoes the shape of the house. The couches are made of concrete and not removable. The lower pond partly enters the sitting area, but is separated by a bay window that turns inside. Next to the sitting area is the open kitchen, which is placed behind a half-circular wall. The small dining table is built in this wall and floats above the ground. Because the roof is supported by steel cables, the walls of the bedroom have no retaining function, so you can have large windows. Behind the master bedroom is a circular bathroom, which is placed in the point of the triangle. Built-in closets are built against the walls of the bathroom. At the other side of the master bedroom is a second bedroom. From here you can also see the outside of the circular bathroom. The pool was originally circular, but during the years it was extended in a large pool that was hard shaped. Now a large pool is comfortable in hot Californian climate. But I prefer the smaller pool, because its circular shape better matches it with the many geometric patterns of the layout. With three separated houses and a large garden, the complex has a layout of a range or a farm. The guest house has its own living room and it has a kitchen with an open bar. At the left side is a door towards the bathroom. From here you can walk straight into the guest bedroom. In the evening the three houses placed in a circle reminds me of tents around a campfire place, somewhere in the wilderness. Finally, we take one look in the greenery. This part of the house is so covered with plants that it becomes fully absorbed in the foliage. The walls are wooden fences and the steel cables have grapes growing on them. This house proves again the extreme diversity of John Lautner's body of work. With its many geometric shapes and steel cable construction, the design combines both futuristic and organic architecture. The house interacts so well with the vegetation that it almost becomes a landscape making the Tolstoy residence unlike any other house in the world. However, there's a threat that the house is going to be demolished, because it is in a slightly deteriorated state and it's placed on a large piece of ground, while the surrounding neighborhood is constantly expanding with luxury houses. And you can easily build four of these houses on the same lot. So, therefore, this little known house needs more attention and hopefully it will be maintained for the future.